Good morning, world. This is Ivan Amir again. It's going to be another very interesting video. You guys are probably on part two right now watching my uh, my recent video that I made early in the morning. I'm going to keep saying this. You better enjoy this series while you still can. As once I'm king, I'm peace and I'm VJ, and you're left behind, you're not saved. And my step parents and my step family are going to go with these. Or VJ step family are going to go with these. They're going to be left behind when I'm king. They're not going to be saved. Because what they did to me and VJ is fucking... Even though you world are part of it, they ultimately made the choice to do this to me and VJ. Because they're fucking stupid people, man. So you could have opened... You, had you opened the door for me, you would have seen my glory for 30 years now, man, in fucking Hollywood. And the Hollywood companies would have... I would have made the Hollywood companies so much money, man. I would have made the Hollywood companies their fucking billions. The billions, obviously. But how it would have worked is me and VJ would have taken most of the pie, obviously. So, so had so Hollywood Hollywood gets what they deserve. Had you opened the door for me, I would have been in Hollywood, and your Hollywood movies would have been grossing tens of billions of dollars, and me and VJ would have taken a, probably a good like sixty percent of the pie, and Hollywood would have taken the nice forty. Yeah, the Steph families would have made some nice money. I would have made more money for them. Yeah, I set the whole thing up. Hey, if you want, if you don't want me touching your money when I'm king, you, you the Steph families don't get a piece of my money. Had you opened the door for me, the Steph families would have got would have got a nice piece of my money, obviously. Because I would have been in Hollywood and I would have made the companies of billions. And now when I'm king, the Hollywood companies do, do, do not get to partake in my billions. Except for Amazon. Amazon will get will get to partake in my billions. Whereas companies like Warner Bros. Disney and all them, they're not gonna they they, they they don't get a piece of my money. The Steph families will get a piece of my money, you see what I'm saying? Because they're fucking stupid people, man. Oh my god. Like you chose this fucking stupid worthless sex over my fucking glory. Now when I'm king, you know what I'm saying, you're all pissed off because everything's behind the scenes. Yes, you made your choice. And now everything's behind the scenes and you're left behind. If I build that fear chain, I'm experiencing that buzz you got and you got holy shit, I even set this whole thing up. You know what I'm saying? Like like man, like being left behind is a horrific price to pay, yeah. Ivan's experience at international going were left out of that. Yeah, man, it's a shitty price to pay, man. Just like me, me being with VJ is a shitty price to pay. As I know, many men fucked her. Many men fucked my wife. So when my wife is naked and, and I have sex with her, I know many men saw many men saw her naked and they fucked the shit out of her. Obviously, she was naked and they fucked. Yeah, it's a shitty feeling. Obviously, it's a shitty, it's a shitty, shitty feeling. You see what I'm saying? It's a shitty, shitty feeling. It's a very, very shitty feeling. Some saying, huh? It's a very, very shitty feeling. It's a very, very shitty feeling, obviously. And you better enjoy this series why you so can well. There's once I'm king, I'm peace and LVG, man. You're not gonna be saved. As once I'm king, I'm gonna totally forget about my old life. I'm gonna forget about this stupid listening series if now i'm king i'm trying online every day with vg i'm gonna forget about this channel guys you guys are even gonna forget about this channel once i'm king you guys are not even gonna watch my videos anymore because the, the trends are much better than my fucking stupid videos yeah if you guys think about it if you guys are gonna forget about the videos what makes you think i'm not gonna forget about it yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna forget about it when i'm king man because now i'm famous i'm a billionaire and i'm, I'm experiencing that fame i'm feeling on top of the world it's like an adrenaline rush you see what i'm saying but you still made me pay to be my wife. Hence, there'll be some days where I'll be a bit sad and depressed. I'll be depressed because of the mask. Same time, I have the keys. And VJ knows what I think, obviously. Hence why it triggers depression, obviously. Because whenever I feel I feel down, whatever I'm thinking about, you guys will know. And VJ will know. And it pisses me off. You see what I'm saying? So that's why being with the keys, I see, I see it a little bit as a curse, obviously. Because every day, 24-7, everyone's reading my mind. It's really annoying. So I can't breathe, man. It's an open mind. I'm saying, I mean, like, why are you mad about your keys? You can make your easy money. Yes, the key is also a blessing. I can make my easy billions. That's why God gave me these stupid keys, obviously. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously. In a couple minutes, in a good 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee upstairs. So you have to bear with me, guys. I'm going to talk for a good hour, and then I will complete this video, and I'm going to watch my video, and I'm going to go to bed and sleep. I'm tired. I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired, guys. See what I'm saying? I am a little tired. Obviously. And I get my next check in a good 
in a good like what in a good like week a good week in like in a good like week in like one day a good eight days i got my check so i'm pretty happy about that in a good eight days yeah nine days in a good nine days i get my check so yeah i i, 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 I can what so i ran out of money pretty much so i can what get some good stuff for myself Having this welfare check is nice. It's very convenient for me because I I, I, I I can focus on my book. I can focus working on my book. At the same time, I, I, I collect money so I can I can get stuff for myself. Get my beer, get my smokes, get my food, and then buy stuff on Amazon. Yeah, it's nice, obviously. Buy books. I bought like a good two, what, two, three books in the past couple months. Obviously. I have you a book nerd? No, I am not a book nerd, but I'll read, I'll read books here and there a couple times. I read the Anything You Can Imagine book. I read the whole thing in like a week and a half. A 500, like 60 page book. I read that. And I'm also currently reading the Sightful book. I'm about 200 pages into the book. I have about 120 pages left and I'm done the Sightful book. Learning a lot from that book. I recommend you guys pick up that book. Sightful, The Foundations of Screenwriting. He, he passed away like nine years ago, but he's like the guru of screenwriting. He knows everything about screenwriting. He's a fucking genius. And I'm reading that book. That way I'm prepped mentally to write my Zayn script with Peter Jackson, Norma Gibson, and John Favon e. Filoni. Because they're gonna, I want John Favon e. Filoni helping me. That way I'm prepped and I'm not lost when I write my script. And, and, you know, I'll ha and I have three minds help me. Hence why I'm going to be able to write an amazing script for Zayn. obviously. If I studied Peter Jackson's script... Fellowship Ring script, and I read that cycle book, and I also plan my three volumes with VJ. I'll be able to write a good script for Zanus. A good script. There's nothing worse than having poor writing. No, man, you have to ha write a good script. Write good script, write, write a good script, write good dialogue, write good scenes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to write good scenes, write good dialogue. Hence why I need Peter Jackson helping me. Because he wrote Fellowship Ring, he'll have some good ideas to help me out. And John Favre and only wrote scripts too. John Favreau, I believe, wrote Iron Man. He wrote he wrote episodes of Mandalorian and Boba Fett. And Dave Filoni did too. That's why those guys, you have those brilliant minds helping you. The way you, you get a good script. Guys, I'm not kidding around. I want to write the best script possible. We can't be lazy. We need to work hard on the script. After we finish the first draft, after we finish the first draft, I'll, I'll part it up with you guys. We'll celebrate. The script's now finished. We have to go over the whole thing at least a good two more times. And then see if we need to change, make a few changes. And if we do, we'll do the rewrites. So, but Peter Jackson might tell me, Ivan, we don't need to do any rewrites. The, the, your story's already, you wrote a masterpiece, Ivan. You, you'll get a good movie. Trust me, Ivan. I know what I'm doing. Trust me, Ivan. I've worked in Hollywood. I read your script. I read your book. You wrote a masterpiece of a script, Ivan. We wrote a, we wrote a masterpiece of a script, Ivan. This is, this is, this is just as good as my Lord of the Rings script, Ivan. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Peter might tell me. I'm like, Peter, you can't be lazy. We need to go over the script at least two more times. That way we... we, we Go over each scene carefully and see if we need to make any changes. With some scenes, with some dialogue, some zero. Ah, uh, this dialogue might be a bit too corny, I've been changing this, yeah. If you if hence why I can't write Zanus on my own, I need help. If I write it on my own, I'll I'll write I'll, I'll write a good script, but chances are you're gonna catch flaws, some some corny dialogue maybe, like you did for George Lucas uh prequels. The George Lucas prequels, the writing wasn't the greatest, man. It was okay writing. It was the, the dialogue, a lot of corny dialogue in the sequels in in, in the prequels. Whereas compared to the originals, George Lucas had co-writers with much better writing than, than the prequels. Are you saying George Lucas is a bad writer? No, George Lucas is a good writer, but he but if you write scripts on your own, chances are you're gonna catch some flaws, man. You're gonna you might have corny dialogue. George Lucas had a lot of corny dialogue in the prequels, man. Like, um and, and especially in um what? Especially in fucking uh Revenge of the Sith, right? Revenge of the Sith had some corny dialogue. Like, we're smarter than this. Like, that was bad writing. You know what I'm saying? We're smarter than this. Killing younglings. Yeah, that was, that was pretty bad. Because George Lucas wrote, did everything himself. He didn't, he didn't have any help. For the, for the prequels, George Lucas was a lone wolf. He wrote everything himself. He directed himself. And he, what? He produced it himself. He did everything himself. If you do everything yourself, chances are you're going to have flaws in your screenplay. You need co-writers to help you, man. Have at least one to two to three people helping you. Peter Jackson had three people helping me. He had Fran... He had Fran, he had Philip, and he had an, an, someone else helping him. He had three people helping him for his Lord of the Rings scripts. Hence why you had good scripts, obviously. Obviously. 
Right? What about the Hobbit? The Hobbit had good writing too, but but it wasn't as good as Lord of the Rings. It was Peter Jackson winged it. Tim Sanger. The Hobbit had good quality writing, but it wasn't as good as Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings was was a masterpiece of a fucking script. Amazing, well written dialogue. No corny dialogue at all. Everything was fucking almost a hundred percent perfect. It was, hence why you need guys like Peter Jackson helping you write co-write your script, obviously. And if you, if I have, so you have my creative mind, you have Peter Jackson's creative mind, you have John Favreau and Lee creative mind, you have all those minds helping, you're going to get a good movie. I don't need any more co-writers. If Gwen Moore Toro, Gwen Moore Toro might say, hey, I have, and I'm more than happy to help you write a script by Gwen Moore, I don't need your help. I have Peter and my two script that's enough. I don't, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to have like six co-writers, no. Four, three, four co-writers is more than enough for a fucking movie. It's enough. So when I write my script on my nice computer, obviously, Peter Jackson, John Favreau, and Dave Lone will be right beside me, and they're gonna, they're, we're going we're gonna to write the screenplay. But here's the thing, though. I might do a thing for my Zayna script. I might do a thing where I what? Where I write it on pen, on, on paper first. I find I focus better when I write on paper. I might have maybe me, Peter Jackson, and we sit down in the boardroom and we write on, I write it on paper. I write on paper, obviously. I write on paper. We write down what we wrote down that day, and and then what? And in the afternoon, and then later on in the afternoon, you can hire, you can you can have Guatemala Toro type out what we wrote down the day in the afternoon, and he goes over the notes with Peter. Have John Favreau or Dave Filoni type it out for you, or you can hire an assistant. I can hire. What I'll do is I'll hire a fast typewriter. The, the typewriter who helped me plan plan the script. I will have him type what we wrote down that day on a laptop every day. That way you don't stress out John Favreau when they flow in all of them. And Peter Jackson will go over what go go over my what. Uh, I'll print a copy of what I wrote down. I'll cop I'll print a copy of what I wrote down. A copy, right? Copy what I wrote down and Peter Jackson can study it with what I'm all Toro. He can take his notes. Because I find you 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 concentrate much better when you write on paper than when you write on the computer. Or we can just write on a computer if you want. People are like, I can just write on a computer. I'm like, 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 it's just more work if you write on your on your on, on a notebook first, Ivan. I'm like, Peter, Peter, I, I write when you write on 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 a pen on, on on paper, you concentrate much better. I'll have like my notebook, and we write the scenes on my notebook. That's what George Lucas did. George Lucas wrote George Lucas wrote down his screenplay on his pen on 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 his pencil on a pencil on a piece of paper first and then he had people type it up for him cuz you fo- I find you focus much better Trust me I I learned this from writing my own book you focus much better when you write on pen on your paper you're more focused than when you write on your computer when you write on a computer you have distractions You see what I'm saying You know I'll just I'll just write it on my fucking computer it's, it's just it just saves more time because if you write on your notebook, you have to hire someone to type it down for you. Type type it down for you. I can easily hire someone to type it for me, though. The person who who helped me plan four years with, with VJ and George Lucas, have him type out your your your, uh, your screenplay for what you Peter Jackson, John Favreau wrote down for that day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What I can do is. To make it easier, what I can do is I can me me I'll have me Peter Jackson, John Favreau, Dave Filoni. We're in the boardroom, obviously. We write the script up with on paper with a with a pen, obviously. And then once we're done, I'll have I'll have the other the other the uh, the guy who helped me plan the four years of Zane is have him work in your office and he types out what you wrote down for the rest of the afternoon. That's enough time to type out everything you wrote. And in the end, of the, that way, at the end of the day, you can print out a copy of the script for Peter to take his notes. And John Favreau and Dave Filoni to to, 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 to to what to go over the script too, obviously. Every day I'll have John Favreau and Dave Filoni go over the script in in, 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 in in when they go back home. Take a good hour, go over the two three pages we wrote down. And see, that's the best way to do it. Is when I write, I want to write my script on a notebook. That way I that way I focus much better. And then I'll and I'll have the guy who helped me to type out the plan for. I'll have him be in my office in the afternoon. He types out what I wrote down. That way, by the end of the day, the script's written. The script's written on the computer, and then he, 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 he what? Um, I can, I can, I can print a copy for Peter to take his notes and wear them all tour, and, I'll, and and John Favreau and Dave Filoni, I'll have them go over my script too. That way, they're, they're they they know everything about my story. If you want John Favreau helping you twice a week, John Favreau and Dave Filoni helping you, they need they need to know what you wrote down, and so every day you give them a copy of what you wrote down for that day. That way they can go over what you wrote down, and then, and then, then, then whenever, whenever, whenever the, the following week, 
for the first two days when they help me out, they're not lost. They know what we wrote down for the script, obviously. That, that way they're not lost. That way we're not lost, obviously. So I was asking what I'm gonna do for my script. Um, because um, I get Peter, I don't want to type my, I don't want to type, I don't want to write my script on the computer. Peter, he's like, why, Ivan? Oh my God, I focus, I focus better with with, with 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 a pen to paper. He's like, really, Ivan? Yeah, Ivan, you're right. If you write on pen, yeah, if you write on on with your pen on paper, you 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 concentrate much better. You're much more focused than when you write on the computer. Don't worry, Peter. I'll, I hired someone to type to type out what we wrote down. So whatever we wrote down for for the first half of the day, Peter. In the afternoon, I'll have the the, uh, the guy, a fast typer, type out what we wrote down for a script. I'll, uh, he'll be in my office typing it down for me. That way you have a printed copy for your notes. I have, you have everything figured out. Yes, I have everything figured out. I know what I'm doing. Obviously, since there. I know what I am doing. I know what I'm doing, since there. I know what I'm doing. Obviously. I know what I am doing. That's why Peter Jackson's gonna have a smile on his face. He's gonna be so happy. Yo, I've not I, I love working for you. He might be I I love working for you so much better than fucking Hollywood, man. Like Peter Jackson staying it's Peter Jackson and I'm gonna be renting the best Peter Jackson and we're gonna be staying in suites, the best suites in Vancouver. The, the the best suites in the in the Vancouver hotels are only like nine hundred thousand bucks a night, man. Fifteen hundred a night can easy afford. Yeah, Peter, you'll be staying in the in the best suites in, in the luxury hotel in Vancouver for like one year, a year and like a month. Yeah, with Grandma Tour, George Lucas, Fran, his wife, and and and, and Barry Osborne, as well as the th the three console artists, John Hal Allen Lee, and the one who drew for Pennywise the Clown. They're gonna be, they're all gonna be staying in a hotel. In Vancouver, They'll, the cons for us will stay in a hotel for a good six months, whereas Pierre Jackson with Molotov, Fran, and Barry Osborne will be in the hotel for, and George Lucas will be will be in the hotel for a good year, a year and like a month, the first year, and they're going to be staying in suites, and so because they're staying in suites, they're going to work harder for me, obviously. You have Pierre staying in suites, he'll work harder for you because you're you're giving him a good experience, whereas in Hollywood, chances are he didn't he didn't stay in suites. He probably stayed in, 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 in a standard hotel for the fucking pre-production. Was Peter Jackson staying in suites for the pre-production? Pre yeah. For the first year, he'll work harder for me, obviously. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So my deal for Peter Jackson is I'll pay him his $85 million, which is $106 million in New Zealand money. So Peter Jackson will make his nice, like, 50, I don't know, $56 million after taxes for the four years of Zanus. And he gets his, he gets his what? He gets his two thousand dollar gift card, three hundred dollar gas card, and he gets the perks: the luxury buffet, limo services, staying at the suites, piling up my three hundred million dollar condo, and my what? Piling up my three hundred million dollar condo, and piling it up in my what? Piling it up in my um in my in my yacht. Obviously. And I'm willing to pay him, give him 0.6% of the uh, of the film box office profits for the 4K Blu-ray only, not the, the the ticket sales if I build that theory chain. If I build that theory chain, I'm not going to give Peter 0.6% of that. No, otherwise you're, he's going to walk away with like $180 million. You're, you're being too generous. I'm already paying Peter more enough money. I'm not going to give him 0.6% 0. Um, 0 for the ticket sales. Otherwise, you're, he's ripping you off. Because at the end of the day, it's my money. Peter will build buzz, obviously, but yeah, they it's me, we just money, man. Don't let Peter dupe you like that. But I'll give Peter a nice like 0.2% of the profits for the ticket sales if I build a theory chain. If not, he just gets a 0.6 for the 4K Blu-ray movie. It just depends how much money I make, guys. If I only make like $15 billion, $17 million, I'm not going to invest money in the theory chain. I'm just going to sign that big contract on Amazon. That's good enough. You guys will get to see it at home on 4K Blu-ray. On your nice big flask of you, and you still get a theatrical experience at home. You guys can still get your pizza, you can still order your popcorn, but you you'll be watching it at home. You're not gonna get the, the experience on an IMAX theater. But chances are I am gonna build that theater chain. And if I do, Peter Jackson's only getting 0.02% of the profits. I'm not giving him any more than that. I'm like, Peter, if you're you're getting greedy, I know that feeling. I right, am I getting a piece of that? And when he's shocked, holy shit, right, you're building your own theater chain, your own IMAX theater chain. Yeah, Peter, I'm building my own. He's like, holy shit. That's fucking nice. I'm like, yeah. 
Can I get a piece of that, Ivan? Okay, Peter, I'll give you a good, like, $20 million worth. Is that good enough, Peter? Ivan, that's good enough. Yeah, it's a good deal. His agent will be like, Ivan, what about the ticket sales? I heard you're building your theater chain. Are you going to give Peter a piece of that? Fine, I'll give Peter 0 0.02. Well, Ivan, what about 0 0.1? I'm like, no. I'm not going to give Peter, like, $40 million of my money. He's $30 million of my money. That's too good. $30 million of my money, $40 million of my money. I'm already giving him a, a good chunk of the 4K Blu-ray box office. I'm not giving him any more than that, man. I'm giving him 0 0.6. That's like $350 million in royalties for Peter. $380 million in royalties. And I'm giving him $20 million. And he got his $100 million salary. He's, he signed like his $450, $480, $400, $500 million deal, Peter. He signed his $400 plus million deal, Peter Jackson. Four twenty, four thirty, four. Chances are he signed like his four, like seventy million dollar deal, Peter. Because he's probably going to make about three fifty million in royalties. Because don't forget, you have New Zealand rates, right? He's probably going to make his like three fifty, three sixty million royalties, and he made his one hundred million dollar salary for the four years of Zanus. And he also made another twenty million dollars off the ticket sales. He signed like his four fifty, four eighty, even five hundred million dollar deal, Peter Jackson. That's good enough. You know what I'm saying? I know, Peter, you're greedy. You know what I'm saying? You want to make maybe seven, eight hundred. You're not worth that, Peter, for my movie. You're worth your 300 million roll to 350 million roll because you're really, really big, but you're not worth any more. And I'm not going to give you like 800 million dollars worth of my fucking money. You're crazy, man. I'm not going to give that. Peter, otherwise, Peter's duping you, obviously. So to keep Peter happy, considering me and Vijay are going to make like tens of billions of dollars off the ticket sales and, and the 4 billion movie, if I build a theater chain, obviously, give Peter a nice like 450 million dollar deal. That way you keep him happy. Considering you're making way more than him, obviously. So if you give him, pay him, if he signs that contract, Peter will be happy, obviously. He won't be mad. And he'll work really hard for me because I gave him the deal of a lifetime. And I also gave him his freedom. I gave him his perks. Luxury hotel party for the premiere at Bergenhock Resort for two days. The red carpet event at the Bergenhock Resort. Premiere at my IMAX theater if I build a theater chain. Whereas if I don't build a theater chain, I'm just going to have one premiere. I'm just gonna have. I'm not gonna have a premiere if if I don't. If I just release it on 4K Blu-ray, Zanus, I'm not going to have a, a premiere. The premiere is is the pre-order. That's available for for, for for quarter of the world. That's that's my premiere for for, for if, if I release direct 4K Blu-ray. But if I build my theater chain, I'll have premieres at my theater at my IMAX theaters in Switzerland. So I'll make sure I'm I'm I'll make sure I'll build. I'll make sure I build the good two theaters in in that one city where Burgess Park Resort is. I believe Burgess Park Resort is in Lucerne. It's in Lucerne, Lucerne, Switzerland, city of Lucerne, Switzerland, I believe. Yeah, Lucerne, Switzerland. That's where the Burgess Park Resort is. I can build two theaters there. That way, when I do the when I do the premiere and the two day luxury tour party, I can have limo limo drivers take after the red car premiere. I'll have limo drivers take me and all the crew and the Peter Jackson. To the, the theater, obviously, and that, and the, the whole, a good chunk of it's booked for me and the entire crew, and then the actors and the directors, and they get free food. All the fans get free food at the theaters. All the us, uh, not the fans, all the fans have to pay, but all the um, all the Lord of the Rings crewmen and Peter Jackson, the actors get free food. But they can only pick one, like one, one, like you guys can only get like one combo for yourself. That's it. You can get a combo if you want, but only you can only only pick one set of food. I, I don't want you getting fucking popcorn, candy, and fucking two hot dogs. No, otherwise you're gonna waste. Chances are they might not be able to. They might waste food. Only pick one thing, here, guys. Like guys, please listen to me. You know what I'm saying I'm not gonna babysit you guys. I will listen to you. yes. You can get whatever you want. If you want to get a large pizza for yourself and two drinks and a, and, a, and a two milkshakes, you can get that. But that's it. I'm not gonna have you get a large pizza, two milkshakes, and get like popcorn and candy. No. You pick one, one, one combo. You guys can only get, you guys can either get one individual thing or you can get one combo for yourself. Any combo, Ivan, any combo you can get. If you want to get two burgers and, and, a, and, a, and a poutine, you can get that with your two drinks, but that's it, man. So I'm spoiling the crew, but don't let, don't, don't, don't have them take advantage of you. And you guys get free, free refill, free, 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 free refills. Refills. So what I'll do is that way, that way the employees know. That way the employees know who the VIP people, people are. I'll have them wear this, uh, this, like, what? I'll have them wear this, uh, this, uh, what? This badge. They have, like, this badge they like, fling around their neck. That way the, the employees know they're, they're, they're the Lord of the Rings crewmen. Because the, 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 the employees will not be able to keep track of who's who, obviously. And you have, okay, all the people who are, okay, all the people who are VIP... They wear this, they wear this, they wear this, like, they wear this, this thing, this badge. 
and that and they showed him the badge so what they know okay he's VIP and he get his his free roof refill obviously whereas the fans do not get that hence why if they want to get refills for their drink they have to pay a dollar fifty for the refill so I'll charge a dollar fifty I'll charge a dollar fifty for for the large drinks a dollar refill for the medium and like eighty cents for the small for the refills for the fans. Obviously, you have to charge the fans for refills. You just not nothing's free, man. I, it costs me money. Charge them like a dollar fifty for refills. So, because some fans are gonna want refills, obviously, charge them a dollar fifty for the large, two. Uh, um, um, one dollar for medium and like seventy cents for small, for the refills. Obviously, that way you that way that way you don't lose any money. Obviously, you know what I'm saying. And Mel Gibson, I'm going to pay him $56 million. That's like, I don't know, $40 million in American money. And I'll give him 0.5% of the profits for the, um, for the what? For the for, for the box office for the 4K Blu-ray. And if, I'll give him 0.02 for the ticket sales too, Mel Gibson. Same deal as Peter, pretty much, right? For his, for his, uh, for, for the ticket sale box office. Give him a good deal like that, Mel Gibson, obviously. But chances are I will choose Peter Jackson with Mel Gibson. Because somebody tells me he's a better man for the job. Because he did Lord of the Rings, man. Lord of the Rings is a... And plus, I'm hiring all Lord of the Rings crewmen. Peter Jackson's into fantasy. He did Lord of the Rings. He did The Hobbit. Chances are he's probably the better man. But I might choose Mel Gibson or Peter. You never know. Well, I'll see who, who's better for the job when I when I interview them. I'm going to test their creativity. Okay, you guys read my book. What do you think enough for this? What do you think enough for that? And whoever comes up with an answer, that's the director I'm hiring. And those directors already know who's hired. I have the keys. They can see the future. You already, Peter knows if he's hired. Mel Gibson knows if he's hired. They can see the future. They know who's hired, obviously. See what I'm They know who's hired. But guaranteed, Peter Jackson's agent will get greedy. And I even wonder about the merch. Are you going to give Peter a 0.6% of that? I'm like, no, I'm not giving Peter Jackson a piece of the merch. I'm already giving him. I don't know, three hundred fifty million dollars worth of royalties, three eighty million dollars worth of royalties for the fucking four K Blu Ray box office. I'm not giving him a piece of the merch, man. Uh, like you know what I'm saying, you're getting greedy, Peter. You're getting greedy. I'm not giving you a piece of the merch. Why? When you're giving the actors a piece of the merch, yes, the actors are my stars. They're going to be featured on the billboards. They're going to be. They're the fucking actors of my movie. They're featured on the posters, the mugs, the tickets. They're my fucking. They're, 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 they're my fucking. They're my stars. That's why I'm giving them a two fifty thousand dollars royalty check. And even though I'm giving them a piece of the merch, uh, they're not making the kind of money Peter Jackson's making. Peter Jackson's making way more than all the Hollywood actors. He's making way more than Vigo or Don. Vigo's only making like $19 million from my movie. And Peter Jackson's making his $450, $500 from my movie. He's making way more than all the actors, all my stars. And so I'm not going to let Peter do like that, man. I'm giving him a good deal. All right, what about ten million? What about a flat ten million for the merch? I'm like, no, I'm not giving Peter ten million for the merch. I could easily give Peter like a good ten, twenty million dollars for the merch, but if you do that, he's ripping you off. Peter Jackson is not is not is not my fucking star. He's my star director, obviously, but he's he's behind the scenes. He's not my he's not the advertiser of my movie. And so I'm not gonna give Peter I'm not gonna give Peter Jackson a piece of the merch, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If Viggo Mortensen or Carl Urban or Don Cheeto, Idris Alba and John Boyega and Avon Joji and they are going to get greedy and their agents will say, I've worried about a million dollars for the merch. I'm like, no, I'm not giving the actors a million dollars for the merch. They're not worth it. I'm all, me and Viggo are the main showmen. Like, even though these actors are my stars and they'll build buses of Hollywood actors, at the end of the day, the whole world is going crazy for my movie because of me and VJ. It's not because of them. It's because of me and VJ. You see what I'm saying? It's not because of them. It's because of me and VJ. You're not like two fifty k is a good deal, guys. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah, they're like, oh, that's a good deal. Yeah, in Hollywood don't get squat. Yeah, in Hollywood the actors don't get squat for the merch. The only ones who can negotiate for a piece of the merch are the bigger ones, the bigger A-listers. Whereas the B-list actors, rising stars, will not don't get squat for the merch, man. And I'm giving the actors a nice two fifty thousand dollar royalty check. That's nice. I'm giving you speaking fee earnings. The actors are gonna make their nice like. 200 300 even 400 grand speaking fees man if i if if i build that theory chain the actors are going to make probably 300 even 400 grand speaking fees because you're looking at world tours for three of my volumes you see what i'm saying yeah but chances are they're going to make probably about 150 200k in speaking fees the actors you see what i'm saying yeah you see what i'm saying Oh, I should say yes.
Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, but if I build that theory chain, man, Peter Jackson's going to have that smile on his face, man. He's going to be so happy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ivan, you're giving me a 985 and a bunch. At the same time, you're building 2002's World Wife and IMAX experience for, for your movie, Ivan. He's going to have a, it's a, director's fuck, a director's dream. To have an unlimited budget and also have a, a, an IMAX screening movie chain worldwide with Dolby, the best Dolby speakers in the world. You know, unheard of theatrical experience, obviously, is every director's ultimate dream. I gave Peter Jackson the dream deal, and I'm also paying Peter Jackson an, like, he, like a $500 million, $450 million deal. He's going to work hard for me, Peter Jackson. He's going to work really, really hard. because he, he knows he's going to strike it rich. He's going to walk away with like a 200 a 200, 200 to even $300 million check in his bank, Peter Jackson, after taxes. $280 million check in his bank after taxes. He strike it really, really rich. He strike it richer because he he's the guy's already loaded. He strike it richer. He'll work really hard. Harder than even what he did for even Warner Bros. for Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I mean, fuck, fuck fucking Warner Bros., man. Your company's fucking barren in fucking Hollywood, man. You're clean. You pay me my hundreds of millions in free cash. Yeah, I'm free. You're free, Peter. You don't have to do anything. No, you don't have to pay a price, obviously. The only price you have to pay is to deal with the fame, obviously. But you, you, Peter Jackson does not have to pay a price to be my movie. The Doc team is filming us. Don't forget that. He's filling on top of the world. Yeah, the fans. The fame with the fans. The perks. Yeah. He'll work, Peter Jackson will work harder for me, obviously. So going back to writing the script, what I'm going to do for writing my Zayn script, I'm going to have me, Peter, John Favre, and Dave Filoni, we're going to be in the boardroom. And they're all gonna sit next to me, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna write we're gonna write the script uh, by hand. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a pen, and I'm gonna write the script by hand with 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 a, with a pen or a pencil. A pencil is better because a pencil you can erase. A pencil you can erase. You can erase your mistakes, obviously. But I might I'll write I'll I'll, I'll put money into a nice notebook, and we're gonna write volume one, volume two. I'm gonna volume one, volume two, volume three. And then once we're done writing the script for the first half of the day, and after lunch, I'll have a type a typewriter who helped me plan the four years. I'll have him be my office guy. I want you typing out what we wrote down. The three pages I wrote down earlier earlier for, in the early half of the day, I want you typing on my computer. And he types on my computer that way. By the end of the day, once we once me and Pierre and I'll do our concert, the concert in a nice room. I'm saying we can what. Um, um, the, um, um, you can give Peter Jackson his, uh, the, the, the copy of the, script, of the script that we wrote down and where Motor can help Peter Jackson with his notes in, the, in their nice suite, obviously. And then I'll give John Favre and a, a, a copy of the script too. That way they can go over what we wrote down. That way they can help us the following week when they work on the script two days the following week. That way they're not lost. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to count here. 